Hi, David here with Tough Tractors. Here I'm going to show you a how-to video. This is uh, how to change your oil and filter on your compact tractor. This happens to be a Yanmar YM1820D. Um, I'll show you what you're going to need first. Obviously something to catch the oil in. A funnel. Notice on the bottom of my funnel what I do is I take my rubber glove when I'm done with it and stick it over the funnel so when you put it away it doesn't leak oil all over the place. You need an oil wrench, new oil filter, oil, and a wrench. Uh, I know this tractor happens to take a 19 millimeter. So uh, let me put it on pause. First thing I'm going to do is drain the oil out so let me go over to the other side where the oil plug is okay on this tractor the oil plug happens to be normally it's on the side where your dipstick is there's the dipstick right there and that is normally the opposite side of your tractor of where your oil filter is here's a filter here but that's the hydraulic fluid filter so to find out where the drain plug is under the tractor actually I can see it right through there there's the drain plug now if you've never changed oil before I know it sounds kind of silly but make sure you're changing the oil and not draining the differential oil okay your oil pan is gonna look like that that's your oil pan right there that's the plug you don't want to change something up here on your differential or somewhere else. It's going to be directly below your engine. See all those bolts right there? I don't know whether there's probably 10 millimeter bolts and there's probably 20 or 30 of them. That's your oil pan. So there's your drain plug. I'm going to loosen that up with my 19 millimeter wrench. I'm going to put my oil pan under it and I'm going to start draining the oil. Okay, here we go. It's draining out. You see it coming out of there. Down into my oil catch pan. Another thing you'll have to have too that I didn't mention, some rags. So let that fill up. That's the oil plug right there. Just a bolt. Make sure your washer's on it. So when you put it back and you tighten it up, it doesn't leak after 20 minutes of driving. So I'm going to let that go out, and I'm going to go over to the other side where the oil filter is and uh, show you that part. Okay, like I said, the oil filter on the tractor is typically on the opposite side. So here's, you see, here's the side of my tractor. There's the oil filter right there, and of course, you know, because it's a tractor, it's protected. You don't want some log or something to hit it. So I'm going to have to take off the side panel right here and take off this panel before I can get to the to the oil filter so I need a 10 millimeter wrench and I'm gonna take all that stuff off alrighty I've got the side panels off there's that cover that protects the oil filter there's my side cover side grill whatever you want to call it there's my oil filter so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand here I've got my wrench Got my arrows on it, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I'm gonna put it on this way so it loosens it up. I can get that over here. Okay, that's how it's gonna look when you put it on. Some of these tractors will have a little uh, valve here or gauge that checks the engine temperature. Make sure you don't hit that when you turn this. Actually, there's the sensor right here. Some some tractors, it's right here. And if you turn that, believe me, I've done it before on tractors. You turn that and break it off, now you've got another uh, problem to deal with. So just use your wrench, tighten it up, give it a little force, and here we go. Okay, so now I can do that by hand. So I'm going to pull that off. I move my little uh, catch pan down here so it's going to catch everything. I'm still draining out the, the oil pan too while I'm doing it. So. All right, let me put this on pause, pull that filter off. Okay, I've got the filter off. You can see the oil coming out of where the filter is. 
dripping down here. Of course, making a mess, but anyhow, it's part of changing the oil. Okay, one thing you make sure. Here's the new filter. There's the gasket right here. Make sure that there's not an existing gasket left on here, so kind of clean that off. That gasket's going to come rub right against here, so it's important that you take the original gasket off. Sometimes you take that filter off and the old gasket gets stuck, and it just looks like oil or it's you know dark out and you're doing this at night with a light. Believe me, I've done it before. You leave that gasket on, you put your new filter on, and 10 minutes after starting it up, oil's going to start gushing out of there. And then you'll say, what the heck did I do? Take the filter off and there's two gaskets. And that's what happens. So anyhow, make sure that gasket's off of there, that rubber gasket, and um, clean it all up. So I'm going to clean that off, put my new filter on right here. They're pretty cheap. I think it's like five or six bucks for that. So you put it on pause, put the filter back on. Okay, when I when I put that when I put that on pause, I realize I only have about six seconds left. So I'm going to go to a part two.